I recently bought a Quest 3, and I was looking around for some new games that I really wanted to play. I came across Pavlov, and I came across Contractors. Now, this was a while back, I had Pavlov Shack the beta. Recently, Pavlov came out with the full-blown game. I decided to do a comparison video between Contractors and the new Pavlov Shack, so that we can actually see which the best game is. Footage comparisons, gameplay comparisons, some game mode comparisons. The first category is gonna be gameplay mechanics. So basically maps, how the reload function works, and how your character runs back and forth. Number two is going to be maps and environment biome, how well the map is made around you, how well made the specifics of things are inside the map. Three is customization. Basically, how can you customize guns? How can you customize maps? How can you customize characters? Number four is modding. Which one has the better modding experience and which one has more modding options? So let's get started. Gameplay mechanics. So I booted into Pavlov first. I just wanted to load in an off bat show the motion of walking forward and then walking in diagonal lines so that you can see the difference between how the mechanics are in one game versus the other. Pavlov was smooth, no issues at all. When I got onto Contractors, I noticed the same thing. Literally no problems. Both seem very well made. Here's a comparison to the two. On the top is Contractors and the bottom is Pavlov. Kind of hard to tell the difference. So next I want to go into the shooting range. Pavlov has a really good shooting range. I off bat started shooting with the machine gun and showing off the reload function as well. I then picked up an RPG and shot it a couple times as well as reloaded it. The ammo is on your bottom left and you have to reload it into the gun manually every time. Here I reload a shotgun, which is very easy and you have to pump it as well. Using a pistol was easy, and you have to press one of the buttons to release the clip out of the bottom. On to contractors, they had much less to work with in terms of a gun range. I ended up finding one later, but you can't really pick your guns during it. I just shot around the map, and it seemed to have pretty good mechanics. I didn't like how you had to press a button to release the clip out of this one. You didn't have to do that in Pavlov, you could just pull it out with your hand. The pistol in both games requires you to press a button to release the clip. Here's a comparison of both of them back to back. One of the major differences I noticed here was that Pavlov put bullet holes in the ground when you shot and Contractors did not. Next I want to show some of the game modes in Pavlov. There's Zombies, Hunt, Gun, Team Deathmatch, and Search and Destroy. In Contractors there's four game modes you can choose to create. Casual, Competitive, Ground War, and Co-op. Within those game modes, there's also a plethora of others, such as Gun, Domination, Team Deathmatch, etc. Maps and Environment Starting with Pavlov, I wanted to show off the map menu right here. There's quite a bit to choose from, and I like the quality of the maps. They were very detailed, large, a lot to explore. Some of the setups, such as these chairs, were really cool. The jail was awesome. There's a lot of detail within everything. Nice props put out to make it look immersive. This is the map where the World War II game mode is played. Very large, lots of stuff. And what is... And on to Contractors. They also had a plethora of good maps to choose from. Also very well detailed. Kind of hard to tell a difference, like I said. That being said, you can notice here that no bullet holes show up on the ground, and I did not like that at all. It seems a little bit more detailed on Pavlov, but it's kind of hard to tell. Tanks didn't blow up here, which I did not like. I hope, would have hoped that they would have, but... Three, customization. Contractors had a great customization menu. They had standard, World War II, and Ninja, as well as multiple loadouts for each of them, as well as attachments for your guns that you can make for different game modes. Unfortunately, when I looked for any customizable stuff in Pavlov, I basically found nothing at all. So, unfortunately, that kind of gets a zero in this department. I'm sure with time, there will eventually be something. It's still brand new, so. Four, modding. The mod menu in Contractors was awesome. It had a lot to choose from. I started by loading into this Call of Duty Zombies map. Imagine that. We need and it was like as integrated on. as you could possibly believe. It had a point system. You could build back the walls. You'd knife people. It was pretty crazy, to say the least. 
So on Contractors, you can download game modes, you can download game content, loadouts, as well as maps. So in this game mode, I'm playing a Halo loadout on a normal map with Team Deathmatch. Here I loaded another Zombies map, which is ridiculous. I mean, this is a legit game. Obviously, like, wow. This has obviously been out for way longer though, so they're gonna have more stuff for it, but this is awesome. Here's a Star Wars Battlefront mod, where you can play the legitimate Star Wars Battlefront. So you can get the command posts, you have to kill people. Here's another mod, Team Fortress 2. The integration of this is insane. Moving on to Pavlov, I then downloaded a mod, which was the Call of Duty map called Rust. And there's these really weird looking guys at the beginning. So when it booted up, all that it was was the map. And it seems to not have as much integrated yet, such as the changing on the hitbox markers and the skins and everything that's inside of Contractors. I then loaded into this weird little role-playing game, and I also wasn't a huge fan of it either. It seems like this mod menu on Pavlov is just a little bit lacking compared to Contractors. This was kind of cool. It was kind of like a Mario Kart version of Pavlov that they made, where you ride around in ATVs and race each other and collect these boxes, like in the normal normal Mario Kart game, but it was super hard to turn, as you can see by that crash. It just didn't feel like it was something that you play for longer than one or two times. In terms of game mechanics, they both have great gameplay. Contractors has a better system where you can put your weapon down in that floating belt, although Pavlov has a more realistic reloading system as well as more realistic weapon. In terms of maps, both games have really great maps. Objectively, they're both good. Now if you add in mods, I think obviously Contractors wins because there's way more maps to download in Contractors in terms of mods. But if you're not including that, they're both really great. For customization, Contractors wins hands down. There was nothing in Pavlov to customize, and Contractors had loadouts that you could customize as well as different loadouts for different games. So, lastly, mods. Contractors won in mods as well. There are way more mods in Contractors. There are game modes, there were weapon layouts, there were different games, there were entirely modded servers, and there was just nothing like that yet for Pavlov. And there might be eventually, it's still a brand new game, but as of right now, Contractors still wins with that as well. So for the final conclusion, Pavlov or Contractors? Both are great games, and you should own both of them. Contractors seems to be a better overall game with more content for you to play. It might be the more fun game and you might get more hours out of it. That being said, Pavlov is brand new, and it has a lot of really promising content that's getting better and better every day. It's definitely trying to be better, and it's working on it. It's really hard to choose one, but I think they're both really great games, and you should buy them both and check them both out and come up with your own opinion. So that's about it for this video. I really appreciate you guys sticking through and watching the whole thing. I've really enjoyed playing both these games and getting to know them in and out. They're both phenomenal games, and I've enjoyed it a ton, so... I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Please check out some of my other videos if you enjoyed this one, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.